So this is the no makeup shot. I have got a contact lens in at the moment. I will put two in in a minute. So I'm starting off using my airbrush and going in with a white colour. So I just want to concentrate that around the mouth area and in the centre of the neck and chest. And then around that I'm going to do yellow and then going into orange. So I'm just patting the orange on with a sponge. Then I'm going to brush my eyebrows out just using an eyebrow pencil and then create a lighter area on my eyes which I'm going to go over with a, a shimmery white powder or eyeshadow just to set that really and make it more vibrant. Using the same shimmery white powder, I'm just patting it onto some of the white areas. This just helps set everything. Then I am taking a brush and going over my socket lines and down my nose. Now this bit will look really messy while you're doing it, but don't worry because towards the end, everything will draw together and look really good. So I'm just pulling it out, making it a bit more cat-like, and then I'm taking a brown eyeshadow and going above that right up to my eyebrows and just blending everything through and I just repeat these steps a few times. So pulling a bit more across my face, that's a light brown colour and then I'm taking an orange eyeshadow and patting that onto my eyelid before I do my eyeliner which I'm really winging out making it look more cat like. When you come to the underneath part you need to leave a small gap between your tear duct and where you're putting the eyeliner just to draw your eye downwards and make it look more cat-like. Mascara and then I'm going to draw the outline of my nose. I'm just using an eyeliner pen. This is this Extreme Art Liner Pen from Artist of Makeup Cosmetics. But you can use any pen or eyeliner for this bit. Um, a gel one would work best because it'll last the best. And then I'm going to create some crescent shapes. These don't have to be the same size or the same shape, they can be quite irregular because I'm going to go in with a different colour onto the top of them in a minute. So I'm just taking those all down my neck as well. Then I'm going to colour in my nose. I've used a liquid lipstick because I know this one sets but you can use your face paints and set it afterwards with a powder or whatever you want to. And then I've just added a few more leopard spots. I've used a gloss on my lips which I realised after was a bit of a mistake because it made everything move. Um, on the top I wanted it slightly darker so I used a liquid lips that dries matte and that would be much better to use all over your lips. I used that same liquid lipstick to go over some of my spots because this was a brown colour so it just gives a bit more dimension to those um, leopard spots and now I'm just adding some really small spots onto the white area around my nose. Bushing my eyebrows out even more with a brown eyeliner pencil. Now this bit I should have done before I put the leopard spots on because I did smear them a little bit. So it's just um, kind of a burnt orange colour that I used here and I'm now dotting it onto the spots as well. But I created a bit more of a, a contour really. These are just really shimmery golds and oranges that I'm adding here. I'm going to add a bit more onto my face which gives a bit more dimension. Eyelashes going on and then I'm just smudging a little bit of eyeshadow underneath the cat eye and going in with a white powder. And finally I'm just poofing over some glitter all over my face to add some shimmer and then this is the finished look. Now what I've also done as you can see on this photo is I did my son's makeup as well. I just did a more simplified version of this. He didn't really like me going around the eyes and he was fidgeting a bit so it wasn't quite as complex but it's a great family outfit basically. Thanks ever so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.